Okay, now. Huh? 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 Spine, 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 spine. So I made the spine there. So um, in my group of friends of orthopedic surgeons, I'm the youngest. Mm -hmm. Then the next is 54. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, we have a group mm -hmm. uh, and we have stickers. Mm -hmm. Sticker says, I drill, I screw, I nail. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. Mm -hmm. So that's the sticker we have on our cars. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning. How are you today? So I talk about uh, the last part of this young age of the Oxford knee. The first item is the media side bone to bone. And second item was uh, lateral x-ray that estimates the integrity of SL. The third one is full thickness lateral cartridge on the Sparga stress ray and Rosenberg view. Again, I recommend you to take Rosenberg view, or that is a weighted flexion view. Uh, both Sparga stress and Rosenberg view, you should identify the full thickness lateral cartridge. Uh, like that, this image, the lateral side is always worn out, but you don't mind the lateral uh, osteophyte of the lateral edge of the piva or tibia. And many surgeons this, uh, this decided to, uh, the patient is not for UKA because of osteophyte here. But actually, it doesn't matter because Oxford group showed that. So they compare uh, the osteophyte case and osteophyte plus case compared uh, medical uh, medial site uh, condition and ACL integrity and clinical outcome, outcome and long-term survival. But uh, without osteophyte and with osteophyte, they are completely similar results and uh, good longevity up to 15 years, why five years. So you don't mind about lateral osteophytes as long as the thickness of lateral cartilage uh, intact. But this is our study, uh, take care about subluxation or so-called uh, thrust, lateral thrust of uh, the preoperative x-ray, both uh, normal x-ray and stress x-ray. A stress x-ray predicts the post-operative situation, not only about the total HKA, but also uh, tibial uh, tibio femoral relationship in, in the coronal planes. So if uh, post-operatively, if there is a subluxation, uh, that case has a higher chance of lateral uh, OA progression in the future. Uh, that's post-operative uh, lateral subluxation can be predicted using the stress X-ray practice in the 20 degrees inflection. So if the patient has still has the lateral subluxation after the operation, uh, you should take care about uh, the lateral contrast situation intraoperatively and postoperative x-ray.
anyway, basically, natural uh, osteophysis does not matter, but take care about lateral cartilage thickness and subluxation after the operation. And the functional intact MCL, that is proved by vulgar stress and reduce uh, the various alignment. So this uh, normal uh, situation is not evaluated with HKA or FTA. It is estimated using the JLCA, uh, that is the relationship between femoral joint surface and the tibial joint surface. It's both joint line comes parallel or slightly open medially, medial open, that implies intact MCL. But even in the stress X, the bugger stress X-ray, the media side, uh, side joint space uh, does not open sufficiently, uh, that implies contracted MCL. That also implies AC damaged uh, ruptured ACL. Why? That is the theory of Oxford. This is a lateral x ray, the normal pit, normal knee. And in the OA, red part can be worn. Then, middle side can shrink. Then also MCL can be loosened, but situation in intact ACL, so is where the tibia never dislocated anteriorly in the flexion, normal cartilage in the posterior part of female and tibia can be faced to each other. So in this situation, MCL restore this normal length. So uh, MSA cannot be shortened. On the, so, uh, applying the bugger stress, uh, the MCA can list uh, its original length. So that is a correctable basis. On the other hand, once AC ruptured, uh, ACL my tibia moved anteriorly in this situation, posterior cartridge can be worn out. In this situation, not only the extension, but inflection uh, or uh, MCL or always uh, loosen, then subsequently MCL shortening and contracted. So that can cause the flexible virus. So uh, corrector virus uh, proves the normal MCL and normal ACL. So that is the theory of Oxford. The uh, fifth one is accessible patellofemoral joint. Uh, it is still controversial. In the cuisines, strict, uh, strict uh, contraindication, indication. So for thickness cartridge wear of the femoral joint is a contra contraindication of UK. But Oxford group uh, for thickness uh, cartridge wear does not matter. Mm. Uh, they does not, uh, do not compromise the post-operative outcome of the UK, at least mobile wearing. But avoid, uh, do not use UKA is the patient with uh, subluxation of patella and severe bone loss or are grooving like this. In such case, uh, it's not suitable for UKA. But sometimes we can find the patient that have media side bone bone and patella femoral problem like this severe bone loss and grooving. Uh, previously, I do by compartment aspiracy, media side UK and patellofemoral joint uh, replacement, but result is not to stabilize. So now I do the TKA uh, such in such patient. Anyway, the media side and the lateral side 
cartridge where that's the much. This is also data uh, report from uh, the Oxford group. So, uh, so uh, with and without cartridge wear of paraperonal joint, uh, the result survival and clinical outcome is similar uh, with with PF joint problem without PF joint osteoarthritis. Uh, the similar long time survival and similar outcome expect for lateral facet osteoarthritis. Only the one item uh, between the American knee society score, Oxford knee score, Tegna score, uh, they're the same, both uh, so both groups with and without patrofemoral arthritis, but only one item improvement of soft uh, lateral facet OA group uh, uh, less improvement than uh, without patrofemoral joint. So in terms of the lateral facet, osteoarthritis, we should take care about lateral side, but media side of the uh, osteoarthritis can be ignored. And uh, they also compare uh, the critical outcome between the patient with anterior knee pain and without anterior knee pain. The critical outcome will completely same. So it does matter of the location of pain even if the patient have anterior knee pain and lateral knee pain, it's that Just looking uh, and evaluate uh, using the X-ray uh, with five items, so media side, uh, bone to bone, and lateral side uh, location of erosion. And so the item is intact lateral cartridge. And fourth item, is uh, corrector of various and the fifth item with patellofemoral joint uh, situation. And interoperatively, I evaluate the cartridge status at the seven areas. One is the media side, media femoral condyle, uh, media tibia plateau, and lateral condyle of weighted area in the center of condyle and not weighted area oh. uh, just uh, next to the intercondyle notch or media part of uh, the lateral condyle and the trochlear and medial passage of patella and the lateral passage of patella and categorize with seven grades. The first is normal. Second one, the superficial damage. Uh, that means the uh, fibrillation of the surface of arterial cartridge. The third one, the partial thickness loss. And for thickness loss, uh, less than two square centimeters, uh, that called as uh, focal cartridge <laughs> loss. And extended cartridge loss, that is more than two square centimeters and bone deep uh, up to five millimeter and bone deep more than five millimeter. The yesterday case, mm. lateral OA had a more than five millimeter bone loss. Mm. That uh, it's very, very frequent on the tibial side on, uh, in the lateral OA, lateral osteoarthritis. Anyway, that's the Oxford classification. Uh, this is the correspond with ICRS classification. Uh, grade zero is normal. Uh, grade one nearly normal is correspond to the superficial damage, and as uh, this is grade two correspond with uh, part of thickness, and grade three correspond with the full thickness loss, and uh, grade four correspond with bone defects roughly. Well, this is a microscope curve, but this one is more reliable, mm -hmm. more, more convenient for clinical use. So I always classify it. 
similar to uh, the cask uh, cartridge uh, in the Oxford. ACL status is classified into five lines. Uh, first is normal, uh, the ACL covered by normal synovium and all fibers are intact. Then the first one is synovial damage. The fiber uh, stay normal, but covered sidewall is damaged. The third one is the material of fiber of uh, ACL is damaged and split vertically. So uh, next one is the fiber and fragmented. So ACL exists, but it doesn't work no more. And find them completely absent. The first three one is we consider in the ACL functioning. No, no. The uh, later two items uh, we are uh, considering. Okay, this uh, it is quite important to decide the suitability of UK interoperatively. Okay, thank you for joining. Next week we will have uh, the same lecture, but talk about alignment in TKA. Okay, see you next. See you in next week. Bye bye. I took this. お疲れ様です。まあこれいつもあのやっておりますので、あの順調に評価しているので、またその時に言います。OK、行きましょう。はい。じゃあ会議の方に行ってください。アンテリアニーペインって、PA、この、この、トロティアルの痛みもアンテリアニーペインで。必ずしもそうやないですか。だから、なかなか、あの、あれするのは難しい。PF の痛みの頻度として多いのは、中間国境部で過剰時の痛みし。やっぱ、スプレ